I am Zarina Sidesheva, lecturer of IT and digital resources in teaching for languages. Welcome to the sixth lecture, drafting of online tests, crossword puzzles and questionnaires in teaching for languages. Today we will speak about such programs like my crossword, crossword puzzle maker. Outline for today's lecture. The first, compilation of online tests, crossword puzzles and questionnaires in foreign language teaching. The second, my crossword program. The third, crossword puzzle maker. And the last question, creating a questionnaire using the Google Form platform. Keywords. Online examination is conducting a test over the Internet. Also, it measures the knowledge level of students. Students can give an online examination from their own devices at their own time. It provides a centralized dashboard which help is managing all the assessment tests. Crossword. Game in which you write words that are the answers to questions in a pattern of black and white squares. Questionary. A set of printed or written questions with a choice of answers devised for the purposes of a survey or statistical study. Underlying the concept of information computer technology of education is the process of preparing and transmitting information to the student with the help of the computer. Computer technology includes various teaching methods, programmed learning, intellectual problem learning, expert systems, educational communication systems, and etc. Important characteristics of information technology in education are theoretical basis of computer systems, programming, problem-based learning, testing, existing teaching aids, hypertext, multimedia computer communication tools, tool systems, programming language, all foreign systems, databases, text editors, email and chats, multimedia, video conferencing. The main directions of computer use in the educational process are modeling, use of language, communication, social cultural phenomena, or processes for educational purposes through visual representation, organization of training, formation of skills, abilities in the use of educational materials, monitoring and evaluation of skills, business acumen, knowledge, collection, processing and storage of statistic information, automate search for information to organize the learning process, providing dialogue with the teacher, the training center and communication through computer networks. The organization of computer-based learning requires three main components, hardware and software, trained teachers and e-learning materials, network resources, multimedia, computer training courses, test systems, and etc. All of these components are equally important. In the organization of the learning process, it is important that computer programs have such important features as interactivity, the interactive nature of learning. In addition, the computer is able to register, collect statistical information and perform testing on the following parameters. Time spent by an individual student on an exercise or task. Number and nature of errors the number of attempts to perform tasks and exercises, the total number of exercises and tasks performed by the student, types, nature of educational text and sequence of work with them, number of references to training materials and training time, and etc. On this slide, you can see the screenshot of the page armoredpenguin.com. You can follow to this link and you can find ready crossword puzzle set there and also register in this site.
The first step you need to do is to make a registration, log in and out. After that, click the sign up now, the button. Then you can write down the information about yourselves, like real name, email address, username, password, and etc. After that, log in after the registration and enter your password. And the last step, reopen the link armorpenguin.com after registration. When you re-enter the link uh, armorpenguin.com, you will be offered a type of assignment. Choose a course or puzzle from it. You can try other types like word search, crossword or the word match. When you enter the crossword, you fill in the following information, like the title of crossword, author's name, description of puzzle. Also, you can uh, choose color of square, change the minimum numbers of groups. And after that, when you have finished entering the information, click the Make Puzzle button. Your crossword puzzle is ready. Now on this screen you can see the simple crossword on the theme parts of body and after the end of our lecture I will send you the links of these crosswords. Also you, if you want you can see answer key in PDF format or just solve online and just a look through the answers to this crossword. This is another variant of crossword. We call it word search. Uh, for example, I can just uh, type a lot of different uh, definitions. For example, information, program, technology, internet, Kahoot, Zoom and many others and then you can give this word search to your students and they need to find it in this square. Hi, this video is for everyone who wants to improve English through crossword puzzle. Here is the short tutorial how to use it. At first, Go to ermotpenguin.com slash crossword. At the top of the page there is a short introduction to the crossword puzzle maker and on the left side there is a short menu. To start your own crossword puzzle you can put there crossword puzzle title as well as the author's name and a short description of puzzle. There are many options to edit the crossword puzzle as you like it. You can change the computation time, as well as expansion, minimum number of groups, size of squares, and color of square. Then you enter a list of words and clues. Once that part is done, hit the Make Puzzle button for a puzzle which incorporates your words.
After creating your course root puzzle, you can save it in PDF version. Here you can see the final crossword puzzle. Thanks for your attention and I hope you will enjoy crossword puzzle to make your lessons more attractive. Hello everybody! My name is Kristen, and today I'm going to give you a quick tour of how to use the Crossword Puzzle Maker at Crossword Hobbyist. If you prefer a text tour, you can use the one at the top of the grid here, or you can follow along with me. Before we start the tour, I'm going to add a title. Say I wanted to make a crossword puzzle about zoo animals. I could change this title later if I want to. So now let's start the tour. Your words will go onto this grid below. You can arrange the words manually, automatically, or a combination of the two. To arrange them automatically, I'd enter one or more words into the auto arrange section on the left. I'll do this in a minute. You can add them all at once or a few at a time as you think of them. So if I enter my words and then decide I want a few more, I can either add more right into the auto arrange or I can add them onto the grid here. If you are just adding a few at a time, try to start with at least six words to increase the likelihood that they'll all intersect. So I'm going to go ahead and add some words now. You could either just arrange them now and add your clues into the box over here later, or you could add your clues now. All right, now that I have my words and clues, I'm going to go ahead and click Arrange. And there's your puzzle. Pretty cool, huh? Now, if you want to go ahead and add more words, you can, again, do it in the auto arrange, or you can do it manually, like so. Then, you can add your clue into the side over here. Notice how when I select various clues, it'll highlight the word the clue is for. Now, if you don't like how your puzzle looks, you can do one of three things. You can try unarranging it and rearranging to see if it ends up in a different position. You can move the text in the grid by moving it in the upper left, bottom left, upper right, bottom right, or back to center. You can also add more words to the grid to increase the likelihood that the arrange will create different shapes. Now, once you make an account, your puzzles are saved to that account and accessible from any computer, so you can make a puzzle in one computer and print it from another. In order to print your puzzle or share it for online solving, you need to publish it first. You will need to pay to publish your puzzle. Plans cost a few dollars per month. Individual puzzles can also be purchased for special events. 
Then, when you are ready, you click the Make Printable button to save your puzzle. You'll then be taken to a secure payment page. Let's go ahead and do that now. So first, I have to make an account. Go ahead and type in a valid email and a password. Now that I've created my account, my puzzle has been saved. Now I'm prompted to choose a plan. We recommend one of the trial plans. The differences between the plans are the single plan where you purchase just one puzzle for $6. A standard plan is a yearly subscription at $4.25 a month billed for the year for just crossword puzzles. A premium subscription for $6.80 a month offers crossword puzzles and word searches. You can also choose a monthly billing if you'd prefer, which is, increases the price per month, but is a more flexible option. I'm going to go ahead and do the 30-day free trial for the premium plan. Here, you'd enter your credit card information. Notice you will not be charged at this time for the trial, but you will be automatically billed after the 30-day free trial unless you cancel beforehand. Now that I've entered my credit card information and my billing address, my free trial has begun for crossword hobbyists and for my word search. Now I can print or share my finished puzzle by clicking the green preview and publish button on the left side of the screen. Let's go to this now. So first, it'll confirm my clue and answer pairs. This all looks like what I want, so I'm going to go to the next step, but you can make changes if needed. Then I'm going to select the kind of puzzle this is. I'm going to select just for fun. Then publish. And here's my puzzle. Now I'm in the creator panel where I can make slight adjustments and share my puzzle. I can show the answers, I can hide the answers, and then if I want to, I can either share by link, share through Facebook or Twitter, or I can print my puzzle by selecting the print option or by saving as a PDF. If I decide I want to change my puzzle after all, I can always unpublish it It'll prompt me to confirm, and then I go back to the drawing board. So that's pretty much it. Good luck with making your puzzle. If you have any questions or concerns, you can always check the frequently asked questions, or feel free to report an issue up here and we'll get back to you promptly. Happy puzzle making! So this is another variant of the crossword, uh, crossword puzzle maker. You can uh, go and use this link, crosswordhobbyist.com. This is the same site. Uh, they have also, uh, you can also have a, an account here and also to create crosswords and some word, uh, words there and etc. Now we will speak about Google Forms. Now, uh, the previous lectures we have already discussed this program. You can use your Google Disk and just to push the button Create on this page and you can create your own Google Form questionnaire. When you have, when you start to create Google Forms questionnaire, uh, you need to start with the first question. For example, you can choose that the first question will be just a general information, like surname and name. You need to push the button and just to choose uh, your variant of this question. For example, it must be, it can be uh, just a line 
or the whole abstract or just four variants of the question. After creating your Google Forms questionnaire, you can send this link to the other students or to the pupils. Uh, just you can just share the link or you can send this link by email. Okay, so let's sum up. The use of new information technologies in the classroom is the only way to create a favorable environment for its effectiveness, which is in turn promotes cooperation and human relations. The use of an innovative uh, approach to teaching is a great achievement of practice-oriented learning, as well as the quality of knowledge provided to meet the great demand for improving the quality of life, as well as achieving goals in real situations. So here you can see the list of questions after the lecture. First question, name ways to create a questionnaire using the Google Form service. How to create a crossword puzzle using my crossword. Create an IT crossword puzzle on my crossword. And the last uh, task for you to make a test of 10 questions on the topic with five variants. On this slide, you can see the list of references that you can use uh, during your lectures and practical lessons. Thank you for your attention.